Hey, my name is David Buck, and in this video, we're going to learn about editing skin tones. And I know what you're thinking. My skin is so incredibly beautiful and just the right color that I don't need to touch it. But editing skin tones is so important, I felt the need to dedicate an entire video to it. So the challenges we face when editing skin is that as soon as you try to bump up a photo and make it look amazing, the skin tones don't take the adjustments the same way that the rest of the image does. So it might be too red or too contrasty or too, too sharp. And honestly, our BS detection filter when we're looking at pictures is so strong when it comes to faces because we look at them every day that we expect faces to look natural, to look good. So we're going to look at the problems with editing skin tones, how to fix them and make sure that you have smooth, buttery, properly colored skin tones in your images when you're done this video. So we're going to come at this problem backwards because you're probably going to be working through your photos and you're going to see that there are problems with the skin and not know how to fix them. So we're going to show you the problems and then we're going to figure out how to fix them going backwards because I don't want to take anything away from the photos like in this one. We've got these beautiful trees in the background. It's a cherry blossom season, an engagement shoot. But as you can see in the skin here, there's way too much red in this guy's face and in her cheeks and the contrasting in the face is just too much. So let's fix those two issues. Uh, there is a whole bunch of different ways that you can actually address this problem. Um, let's look first at taking care of the red issue. So we're gonna go down to the HSL panel and in our red channel here, we're going to change the hue of the reds towards orange because the, 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 the color of skin is predominantly orange. So if we move the reds towards orange, then we can start to um, fix the problem. So you can either do that with a slider here like this, and you can start to say, ooh, that's far, way too far. And you notice that I'm uh, leaving some of these colors behind. So there's actually probably some purple or magenta in there as well. And so what you can do is hit this little button right here and select the area that you want to change. You can see there's magenta, purple, and red in there and I'm changing those hues towards orange. Okay, and while I'm at it, adjust those a little bit and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the saturation. I'm gonna pull the saturation down of those a little bit. That's mainly the red channel in here. And I'm gonna bring up the saturation of the actual skin tone that I want, which is more of an orange color. So that, that starts to fix the issue. I started with this one because it's a bit challenging. So you can see down here, and uh, you can see down here in his arm, the, the color's really coming out. So let's, uh, let's just change that hue here. With the worst part of those colors. Let's see if we can adjust that enough to make it fixed. All right. <clears throat> so that starts to deal with, his, with the issue there. And then we're gonna create a, we're gonna create a mask in the skin because we like the contrast in the background, but we're gonna take some of it out of his face there like that. Um, but in order to do that, let's just pick our masking tools, select all people, and we're gonna get their face skin and their body skin, and we do not want to create two separate masks. We want one mask all together, and we're gonna bring the contrast of that down a little bit. And because we've got this selected already, we're actually gonna add a little bit of the skin color in, which is kind of an orange, an orange color, but way, 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 way less than that. Just a little bit of, of skin color in on that. And <clears throat> bring up our shadows a little bit because it's another way of dealing with the contrast or, or minimizing the contrast. So I'm pretty happy with that. We've got, uh, let's see how we, we were at the start. To there. There, that... Uh, that looks pretty good. Of course, in Photoshop, we can do a whole lot more work specifically on the skin. Um, while we have our skin selected, we can also lower the texture and the clarity a little bit, which is the localized contrast. It emulates skin smoothing. So that looks pretty good. Check that in at 100%. And that was where we started. And that's where we got to. So pretty good on that one. Let's go to the next image. This one we have, this one I see a whole lot of contrast in their faces here again. So similar issue to the last one. We can select our people and select the skin portions, create a mask, lower the 
contrast in the skin, raise the shadows, lower the texture and the clarity a little bit. And again, just add just a little bit of skin tone color in there. You want orange, you do not want red, but they are very close to one another. And I'm happy with that. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one, there's a whole lot too much saturation in the skin. You can see it's very orangey. Um, not very pleasing as far as the skin tone color is concerned. There's a couple things you can do. You could change the image altogether to more of, to less vibrance, to do a different skin tone that way with white balance. But I really quite like the color of the trees back here. So let's just deal with, with the skin here on them. And so what we can do is go down to our HSL tab, take our orange channel and lower the saturation of the orange channel and brighten up the luminance just a little bit. And we can handle it that way. I'm gonna take a little bit of contrast out. And actually we can in our color grading, in our shadows here, we can we can pick the color of the skin using the eyedropper tool here like this, and then go to the opposite side of that, and that will start to reverse the, the, the color tone issue that we have there. And right away we get a very nice look to that. So that's from there to there, and makes that skin tone look very nice. Here we just have a bit of a saturation issue, so you can either deal with the saturation or the vibrance of a particular photo. Saturation is going to deal with colors that are already colorful, whereas Vibrance is going to deal with colors that are less colorful in the photo. So um, if we just lower the Vibrance here a little bit, you'll see that the photo pretty much retains the look of the background that, that we were looking for. And uh, just a little nudge in the, in the Vibrance took care of this issue altogether. So just being able to see the problem and diagnose it right away is fantastic. Similarly here, her skin is a bit too orange, his skin's a bit too orange. So just bumping down the vibrance a little bit and then adding a color grading opposite in the shadows. Again, picking the skin tones, seeing the opposite side of that because that will counterbalance. And very quickly we get a lovely skin texture and tone. And we'll end on this one. This one is just, they've got, there's a little bit of redness here in the cheeks. And so we want to just take that redness and turn it to orangeness. So again in the hue, just adjust that a little bit, drop the saturation just slightly. Probably go just a little bit further. And you can even down here in the calibration in the red channel, change the hue of it a little bit. You see how that, it adjusts it a little bit differently. It's, it's less based on the, on the channel itself and more on the overall image. So we're just bumping the, the red primary primary towards orange and, and just makes a subtle enough difference. Remember that skin is very subtle adjustments. Um, if you make too many adjustments to skin, it starts to look unusual and strange. And we don't like that because again, our BS filter in uh, skin editing, we look at faces all day long. So we're used to seeing a certain thing. And so we wanna make those as natural looking as possible and making sure that your your colors are more towards the orange scale than the red scale and that the contrast in the skin is lessened and softer. That could be in contrast, that can be in the blacks, that can be in the texture and the clarity. Even playing with the dehaze, which is a which is a larger contrast tool, can help to smooth out some of those skin issues. That should help you diagnose some of the problems that you have when you're editing skin.